Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a product that is a game changer when it comes to removing gel extensions and press on nails. I'm talking about not having to spend time filing and soaking off your nails. Seriously, life changing. I've always hated soaking off gel nails and also soaking off nail glue if I'm wearing press ons, which is why usually I wear press ons with adhesive tabs. If you like to change up your nails often or you're a nail content creator, this product is essential. You may have seen it before. It is a viral Korean product called Gel Jello One Kill Remover. It comes with a peel off base gel, the One Kill Gel Remover, and also some cuticle sticks. Today I'm going to show you how to apply press on nails with this. But if you were to do your own gel extensions, just remember to use a peel off base gel as your base coat. I actually learned this trick for press on nails through one of my loyal customers. We're going to start off with the usual nail prep routine. I'm just filing my nails, trimming them short. And now I'm placing the press on nails over my natural nail just to see how well they fit. You always want to make sure that your natural nail is completely covered. If there are some areas that are covering your skin, then you want to use the nail file to just file down the press on nail so that it matches your cuticle shape. You can see here the corners of the pinky nail are a bit too big for my cuticle. So I'm just going to take my nail file and just gently file it down a little. Now I'm using the cuticle stick to just gently push back my cuticles and scrape off any on the nail plate. Technically I should have done this before the previous step but because I'm so used to my cuticles already I kind of already knew what I needed to file down. Scraping the cuticles off of your nail plate is very important for retention. Once you're satisfied, the next step is to use a buffing block and buff all over your nail. This will lightly scratch up your nail and kind of remove the shiny layer off of your nail. This is also a very important step for retention because it lets the nail glue or the base gel or adhesive tabs to have something to cling on to. You don't need to apply a lot of pressure, just make sure that you are thorough. The next step is to use an alcohol wipe and then just clean down and wipe off your nails. This will also help you remove any kind of remaining oils that might be on your nail plate. This is the final step of making sure your nails are prepped before applying press on nails. The entire nail prep process is extremely important and directly affects how long your nails will last. Now your nails are prepped. Usually, you would go straight into applying nail glue and then the press on nails. But today, we're going to use the Jello Jello Peel Off Base Coat first. Now, this comes with the One Kill Remover already, but if there's other Peel Off Base Coats that you like, you can use those instead. I've tested this method with F Gel Sticker Base and also Dr. Care's Handy Base Peel Off Gels, and they both worked. If you tried this with other Peel Off Bases, let me know if it works for you as well. And once again, if you're using this with gel extensions, make sure this is your first layer after prepping your nails. Once you're done applying the base coat, I'm just going to cure it under my lamp. Once cured, this is a very important step that I almost always forget. You have to use an alcohol pad and wipe down the tackiness of the base gel. And this step here is specific for applying press on nails because the nail glue will not stick onto the tacky layer of the base gel or any peel off base gel. So make sure you thoroughly wipe down each finger. Now we're ready to apply our press on nails using nail glue. So this was my first time using this Magic Armor nail glue that I got on Amazon. I actually didn't love it. It kind of left some white streaks which showed through the press on nails and so I had to kind of redo some of these afterwards. Um, I haven't tried it again since but as of now I don't recommend it. Usually the nail glue I give out with my press on nails is by McCart. So I think next time I'm gonna try their brush on nail glue instead. Make sure the nail glue covers your whole nail plate and then apply the press on nail from the cuticle side and then just press and hold like so. I usually hold on for 10 to 15 seconds and so if you didn't wipe off the tacky layer, this nail would just fall off. And there we go, our first nail. 
If you like to wear press on nails and you also like transparent designs like this one, then using nail glue is so much nicer than using adhesive tabs because it doesn't really show through. So before learning about this method, I used to avoid wearing clear press on nails for myself just because I change my nails too often and then I didn't want to use adhesive tabs because they just show through the design. And these are done. I did my other hand for the clear nails using gel instead, like gel extensions, so that I could show you the removal for both. So we applied everything using the peel off base gel and then now we're going to use the one kill gel remover to take them off. And just for reference, this is the same day but later in the evening. So you're just going to pick up some of the remover and just drop it all over the cuticle area of your nail. You want the remover to slowly seep in underneath your nail. So just drop a little bit in each of your fingers. And the rest of this video is going to be in real time, so I'm not speeding up or cutting the video whatsoever. And that is because I want you guys to be able to see just how easy and just how quick it is to use this to remove your nails. Okay, now that the remover is on, we're going to go straight in with our cuticle stick and start taking the nails off. So you're going to use the pointed end of the cuticle stick and just gently push it underneath the press-on nail. Sometimes I slip so it might look like I'm using a lot of force, but I'm really not. So just gently lift it up all around the edges. And that is our first nail coming right off. And look how clean the nail plate is. This index finger came off even easier. And you can see the remover that's kind of left on the nail plate. So sometimes if it feels a little stuck, it might mean the remover hasn't been able to seep in thoroughly. If that happens, make sure you don't pry the nail off. Just simply drop some more remover in and work on your other nails first. And as you can see with this one, I'm really just gently poking around the edges. I'm not trying to push it off through the middle. And there we go, that's our first hand. So looking back, that only took 1 minute and 36 seconds just to remove the first hand. And also, look at the back of the press-on nail and look how clean it is. It's basically ready to be applied again. Now we're going to remove the other hand. This thumbnail was cured on with gel. And it came off really easy. This finger was also cured on with gel. This hand is coming off even faster, even easier because it's been soaking in the remover longer. This finger was also cured on with gel. I think my cuticle stick chipped a bit there, so I'm just wiping that off. This nail pretty much just like slid off my finger. I'm honestly so impressed at this product. And then the last pinky nail, and we're all done. So quick, so easy, no soaking needed. Not just that, but my nail plates look really healthy. And so I'm just gonna wipe them down quickly with some alcohol. There is a little bit of base gel that's still stuck on them. And I'm gonna use a buffer later to buff that off. But first I also just like to clean off my press on nails so that there's no more remover on them. Also just want to say that the remover has never compromised the front of the design, but I just like to clean them up anyways. That is basically it and I highly recommend this product because it honestly saves so much time. It took a total of 2 minutes and 35 seconds for all the nails to pop off compared to having to soak them for 15 to 20 minutes. If you do this with gel nails, I also feel like it's healthier for you because you don't have to soak your nails in acetone. This video is not sponsored, I just love the product and wanted to share with you. I do however earn a small commission if you use my discount code, it is linked below. Thank you for watching, remember to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what other content you'd like to see from me. And also if this product worked for you. And I'll see you next time.